Hey everybody, it's Taylor, and it is that time again. Time for a craft roulette card. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this one because I, kn I knew almost exactly what I wanted to do right away for once, which is rare. <laughs> Sometimes I know like maybe one thing, but this one I was like, I want this die set. And this was... This is apparently like one of the only backgrounds I have. I have one other one, but I don't know how well it would work for this. So I also have that, but I don't know really which will work better. So I mean, I could always try both. But anyway, so the parameters for episode 204 are for a project, thinking of you. Oh, I don't have that out. Um, fairy tale colors. For the element, here's and or ears. And for the random, a stamped background, hence these. And I need to grab my thinking of you, so let me get that. Okay, so not to bring out the brand new stamp set for the month, but it has thinking of you right in it. And so do a couple of these other sets that I have. <clears throat> this is... From Recollections at Michael's, and I don't remember what this was, but I found it, I think, in Joanne's. And I liked it because it was like five bucks and it had all these different things on it. So, let's uh, play around with some stuff and see what we're feeling. Um, Alright, so I have this just because I wanted to see what dies, and I want to use this picture to work off of. Except I'm not going to do this at the bottom. Um, I'm just going to kind of do some stems like coming into the page, I think. I don't know completely yet. Um, I'm trying to think where I even want to start. Ugh. I like this stamp book. Kind of messy. I don't know. I mean, that could work. And then I was going to pick, I forget to pick a color. So this actually didn't come with a thing. I just wanted it to have it so it doesn't get all gross. I think I just cut it off of something else that I had. So it doesn't actually stick because that's not a clean part. I like the way that feels. Um, so yeah, I have these and I have them separated because this is the holiday and this is just a cardstock assortment. This is actually two packs of them. I liked them so much that I bought two and I don't think I've even used them yet, but I loved them when I saw them and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I was going through these. I want to do this for, well, actually I might need both pieces. So we're going to do this for the one flower. And here's the other ones if you want to see them. And then stick these back in here. I was kind of thinking this would work for the other one. I mean, a lot of these really could. I love that. And that, like that right in between color. Ugh. See, they put this here, but to me, that's the back. To me, I want to see the whole thing like that, not through multiple layers of the pocket. I think these are going to look so cool. Alrighty. Um, oh yeah, and then what am I going to do for the bird? Could use this for the flower and then that for the bird, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how things turn out. That could be really cool too. You know what? I 
think all of those. Yeah, it's like the same. <laughs> There's your gradient. Um. I kind of want that to be the bird. I don't know. I'll play around. We'll see what happens. And by the way, if you're if you like these, these are still on the site. I think they're less than five dollars. Don't quote me on that. I don't know for a fact. All right, so what do I do for the background? I think I want it to be, oh, excuse me, a light blue. Uh, let's see. So that's aqua sky. Ooh, that could work nice, actually. Harbor. Harbor could be nice, too, though. What's the other one that I was looking at? Tide pool. Mm. I kind of think Aqua Sky and Harbor, these two. I think I'm going to go with Aqua Sky. And that's why I like having these because I don't have to go through and try things out. I can just be like, oh, that's the color I want. Okay, so let's get this guy out. Oh, I still have stamps in here. Oh man, those are stuck. Mm, let's just stick these on here for now so I don't lose them. And I guess... Oh no, I'm gonna have to take this out of here to use this. I don't know how I want to do this now. How did I do it before? Oh, I had the other thing. I didn't have this yet. Well, let's try that. Oh, I need to pick up so bad. Whoa, that got loose or was it always loose? And it just feels loose compared to that. Oh man, I forgot this was full of glitter. <laughs> Um, all right, so how did I use you with this? Yeah, it's too big for this. Or is it? I'm gonna try it. What's the worst that can happen? Um, I mean, it could still come out okay. It doesn't have to be a perfect thing. Um, I guess. What do I want with this? Not at the edge. Alright. Um, maybe like here. Maybe if I just go Yeah, let's do that. And then yeah, that was my issue with this though is I have to tape it in. Cause there's nothing really I mean it's kinda grippy, but it's nothing compared to my grip mat. That, that, well, I thought I had the cards, oh, you know what, I think I might have used it for my grandpa's birthday, but it was just blue, it might have been fading blues, I don't know, but I don't know if I want everything fading, I might just want, like, a solid blue, and I can always make it darker in some spots, alright, so, I don't know quite where... So about 
the the section. I don't think I had these inks though when I used it, so that might make a difference in it too. I also didn't have this thing yet either. Ooh! I like that. Just wanna... Okay. I mean, a lot of it's going to be covered up anyway, so. Okay. Yeah, I actually like that. I kind of do want to try the other one, though, just to see what it looks like. I'm going to close this up for now. Try to be mindful of that. Hmm. I mean, Tide Pool's really only darker than that, so let's try the... I'm going to try the powder, I think. I think I'm just going to put that aside. I do kind of like that, though. I like that color. I almost want to try that color with this stamp now. <laughs> Check these out, though. I don't know why I don't use this stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Craft Roulette, for making me use my supplies. <laughs> or, rather, thank you, Mr. Wheel, for making me use my supplies. Um, alright, so I guess what I'm gonna do... Well, these are still kind of wet, so I'm gonna let them dry. Oops. And I guess in the meantime, while I'm waiting for those, I can bring over my... I don't... Do I really need to show that every time? Should I? Should I not? Let me know in the comments. Here she is. I would really love to invest in the Anna Griffin. But... I do not have that kind of money right now. <laughs> but my thing with that is I've heard lots of good things about it. And um, I've been watching Kathy Zilski use it for a while and her plates don't work, which is amazing. I mean, these you can heat so that they go back, but they still warp. And I feel like they kind of like flatten out as you use them. I think this one's about had it. <laughs> Get all this stuff stuck in there. But I'm gonna keep using it until it doesn't cut anymore, so. Alright, what is what here? That's what I need to figure out. Maybe these should not be right here. Because I would like to be able to see that. I'm hoping you can kind of see it too. Not really. Okay. Sorry. Um. Why don't we do it here then? <sighs> Alright. So, it looks like, obviously, that's a flower. That's a flower. Um, is this supposed to be parts of these? That's gotta be... Oh, that's a leaf. That's another leaf. I wonder if I should use the gradient green too. Okay, that's the bird. That's the bird. That's stuck. I think that's the bird's chest. That's another flower. The beak or whatever. 
What is this? Oh, that's where the eye, okay. That's part of a flower. Base of a flower and then the little, okay. So I'm confused then, what are these? Unless it's not for this. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Wait, here's how we know. Nope, it's for this. I don't understand for what though. If I don't figure it out, somebody please let me know. Okay, so what did I say? I think I said this for the bird, this for the one flower, and I was gonna go, I think we're gonna do this for the other flower just so it's not all like right on top of each other with colors because this is kind of close but not entirely that's a lot more orange distinctively orange and distinctively red so i think what i'm going to do is take a big piece right in the well i think we would want the darker at the bottom i think that makes more sense right Something like that, I think. I really need to get myself a tape dispenser for this. I think that would make my life a lot easier. And I guess I'm just going to do one at a time because um, I don't want to cut the paper up yet. Okay, let's see. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Now these if you want to see. There we go. Ooh, that is cool. I didn't get down as much as I would have liked, but I still like that. So maybe we'll do that and then we can put more of a What do we want to do along with it? I'm thinking this is supposed to go with this one, and then this is it all its own thing. And then... I don't know. Let's see what happens. So we're going to go right from where that one ended. For the, or should I start maybe let's go up here
So, what is it? One of each? Because that's the only thing that makes any sense to me. <clears throat> or are they just taking multiples? No, that's not the same shape. Because that's definitely more than one. Unless it's two of them. I think it's two of them. Or it's both. I don't know. I guess... Let's try this one. Okay, that's the top. Oh. I see. Okay, so I need another one. Shoot. I should have started with this one. Maybe I can squeeze it in. Or, seeing as these line up, Don't worry about that one. And just... I went about that so wrong. I wish I had more than one. She does. I think I'll do that. All right. It'll work out somehow. <laughs> I panicked for a second when I saw the hole here because I thought it moved. I was like, oh no, I really ruined it now. I mean, if I really have to, I have this color too, which I suppose I could use this section if it doesn't turn out how I want it to. So let's see, this would be... Oh, wait. No, that makes sense. That should line up. Yeah. Oh, I see. Close to lining up. I'm confused. Like that? Is it just throwing me off because of the different colors? I think so. Because that seems like it's supposed to go like that. Okay, and then you put Oh, 
something like that. Or, oh, does that, oh. <laughs> I need to compare. So it goes like that. Okay, I think. Oh, I'm gonna try another one. <laughs> So I'm going to try to do both because I want them both like half and half. So that's the top. So I'm trying to think here. And that's the top. So basically I would want actually, I would want it like something like that or something like that. But I have another one. Wait, but that's... I think it would make more sense to go this way. And wait, okay, so... This goes on the top, so we want... This... Something like that. Because that lines up like that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that and then I'm gonna cut that like inside of where that was. I like that a lot. So yeah, it's supposed to go like that. I just don't think that goes with that. Although that could kind of go with that. I feel like I should have just went with the darker. Don't care for that lighter part. That's a bit close for the bird. Oh, you could do the bird. Green and yellow. I don't know. I feel like this could work really well for the stems though. I might save that for that. Um, I mean, the bird could be blue, because we're, here's the background, what else was in this? That could kind of go with that. That could be pretty for the bird too, actually. How do we want to do this? So we got a birdie. Oh, that's gonna be hard. But they kind of are all facing the same way. So if I was to kind of go like that, maybe. You get the tip, the tip, and the tip. Get a little bit more than the tip for the one, but or that could be yeah, that could be where that dips into that. It's hard to see. This is very um glossy. Let's try that. I have two pieces, so then the body I think I kind of like the idea of that. Of it being light and fading.
Okay, so I was pretty tired at this point and just stopped talking. Um, I'm using the Mix and Match Butterflies from the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit of March. And um, I took the Thinking of You stamp that I was talking about in the beginning and used the coordinating die that I purchased separately to cut that out. And then I embossed it in gold tinsel embossing powder. And then I also used the little flat back pearls to add a little bit of an embellishment. Okay, so we've got Thinking of You, fairy tale bright colors, and definitely gold I would think is a fairy tale color. Um, ears and or ears, you can hear, um, I almost said a butterfly, you can hear a hummingbird fluttering around, more like buzzing, but you can hear them. Um, and then I have my stamp background. And that is my card for episode 204. I hope I was able to provide you with some inspiration today. Please leave a like or comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and check out my channel for more of the crafts I've made, and I'll see you in the next one.